So Shaheen, can you explain to us um, what the successful diagnosis and treatment of endometriosis can actually mean for the patient? Well, I think the most important thing that uh, an early diagnosis will mean is that uh, a patient's, a person's quality of life will improve. And uh, we need to remember that uh, we're talking about women who are supposed to be enjoying a full life at, uh, at the time where they want to start a family, build a career, have a good education. And every day that we can, uh, we can give back to a woman who's suffering um, uh, by an early diagnosis is a day that is worth saving, if that makes sense. So that's the main uh, reason to have an early diagnosis um, rather than leaving someone to suffer for years and years before we have an answer. But there is also the argument that endometriosis is thought to be, not in all cases, but in some cases, a progressive disease. So the more you leave it and the more you leave it untreated, the more likely it is that it will then become so severe that um, more drastic actions are needed to remove the disease. So for example, um, in extreme cases, endometriosis can come press the ureters. These are the tubes that bring urine from the kidneys to, to the bladder. And if we miss that and they continue putting pressure on the kidneys, that can potentially have uh, very important effects on, on a person's health. Um, these are the main two reasons to, to want to reduce the length uh, of, well, the delay in diagnosis. And I think if I can add to that, Shaheen said really well what the, from the medical perspective, from, from a person's perspective, if they've got the disease, the other thing is, if you don't know, if you don't have a name for your condition, you can, um, and you're missing school, you might get, your parents might get fined. If you're missing work, you're being told that you don't have linked conditions, so you're just having too much time off. So it can have that real impact. Um, and certainly from research we've done, we found that 95% of women feel that endometriosis has negatively affected their well-being. And of course, if you've got people not believing your levels of pain, then that can have a real impact on, on you know, your own confidence and anxiety levels as well. And, and again, if I may come back, um, um, I just remember the very sad story of, of something one of my patients told me once. And uh, she said, I wish I had cancer uh, as opposed to endometriosis, which was shocking. I, I asked her why you say that. And the answer was that at least people understand cancer. You know, I can go to my employer and say I have cancer. They would understand. They would be willing to help. Uh, my partner will understand that. My family will understand that. But I have chronic pain. Nobody knows why. And they think I'm just the wuss, as uh, you know, Emma uh, earlier said. So uh, the, these are the things that uh, make um, the whole story around endometriosis much more complicated.